Yesterday, while I was minding my own business, I received a comment on my recent YouTube video that really got me frustrated. John Sells 357 said, Thrift stores are dead, don't go thrifting. John, what a load of sh So today, my mission is to prove to all the John Sells 357s out there that thrifting is in fact alive and well, and you can build a profitable side hustle flipping this secondhand junk on eBay. I'm also giving away my best find today, so stick around and find out how you can enter. First find of the day were these Puma Ultra football boots. They were $15 and they're going on to sell for 50 bucks on eBay. So that's a pretty good category to be focusing on. The board shorts and the clothing in general, $20. That was pretty nasty, as were the books, 20 as well. So just the one item in there, but um, I couldn't actually take them because their cash register was down and they were only accepting cash. So I had to say no. And um, yeah, unfortunately, we're gonna have to keep moving on. Let me know in the comments if you recognize this place. I used to come down here every single Thursday between nine and 12 and thrift what is ultimately four different op shops on the one street. And man, it's good to be back. Time to get into my favorite category to sell, the DVDs. This one right here, Packed to the Rafters season five, goes for about 25 to $30, so that was pretty cool, but this was even better. ER, season one to seven as a half season set. This was awesome, $28, should convert into about 80 odd dollars, so that was a good little find. I kept digging though, guys, and I actually found the remaining set of ER. If you can believe it, this now turns into a $200 sale, and I'm only paying the $60 to get it, so that was just insane. That is really, really cool. This right here as well, the Tiger on his Sukas. If they were in better condition, I would have gone ahead and picked these up, but unfortunately they were just a little bit beat. And this Brixton jumper, while I'm not doing my clothing too much, I thought it was pretty cool and it was just priced at $7, which isn't too bad. Well guys, what a massive come up, ER. Now $60, you probably wouldn't go ahead and do that, I guess, if you were just starting out, but I've just been doing this for a little bit now. And because of that, I had the confidence to know that 60 bucks will turn into $220 pretty quickly. I've sold this one a few times and uh, look, it's a really, really big, tough season as well, um, 15 to find. So to be able to find one to 15, just epic. So this is a new store, Animal Welfare League Kids. I've taken a bit of interest in the action figures of late, guys, and these ones here were a pretty cool find. We've got Star Wars Hot Wheels, and this one as well was a Kenner Yoda, and I reckon that one goes for about $40 per the comps I was seeing on eBay. I bought a couple of the other ones, those big ones that you can see up the top there as well. They turn into about 20. These little action figures as well, you probably wouldn't think they're worth a lot, but they're actually worth between $15 to $20 a piece. And I'm just paying just a dollar each. All right, so 30 bucks for all those action figures. And I truly believe that that Yoda uh, should sell for 30 alone. So it means the rest is gonna be profit. Just gonna make sure when you're looking for those action figures, the vintage ones, the ones in the 90s, like all of those five that I picked up, they can go for 15, 20 bucks a pop very quickly too. Pretty good sell through rate. Um, so yeah, just a new category I'm gonna be focusing on moving forward because uh, it's turning into some good money for me. All right, so this next one, guys, uh, I actually bumped into the owner of the store at the flea market just last Sunday, and he said to come down and check it out because he's clearing out all of his stuff and he's closing the shop down for good. So there's a fair chance if he's in and he can give me some good price points, we could come away with quite a big haul here. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Let's jump in there. Straight away, an absolute banger, guys. Gold Rush, we've got seasons four, five, six, and seven here. An unbelievable grab. All of these individually, if you can believe, go for $60 each. That's right, $240 worth of DVDs right there. WrestleMania, I've got this one as well, Anthology. Um, this one actually goes for about $30 to $40. So right there, $280 worth of DVDs. I saw this DVD bundle a uh, dollar each um, for these entire stacks. So I asked him, how much would you do for all of the TV seasons? And he said to me, 40 bucks. I said, make it 50, let's do the deal. To think that we're able to get all of that for just 50 bucks. With all of these, it's why we do it guys. I've been in this store for two and a half years, building relationships, he's seen me as a regular customer and then when he wants to clear it out, yeah, look at that, he's happy to give me a pretty good deal. So it's all about connections guys, I'm absolutely stoked with that. I thought we'd come away with a good deal, but to be honest with you, I didn't think it'd be that good. He even threw in like a $30 charm set. He gave me that in there as well for $50. So I pinched all of these. And then obviously all the ones that I showed you guys. And I just asked the question, I said, how much for the lot? 40 bucks. And then he, I said, let's just do 50 for all of it. He is still open until Saturday though, which I think is only like 24 hours after this video goes live. So if you're on the Gold Coast and you want to strike a deal, head down to the community op shop. 
So Courtney's actually working for us today and I said to her, I said, if you can do the seven items that sold overnight and get them out the door and do 14 listings, you can come out in the afternoon and do some thrifting with me. So she's gone ahead and punched it and it's what, 12.30 in the Arvo. So she's done it really, really quickly, two and a half hours. She's been able to list up all those listings and get the post done. So we're gonna go pick her up now and keep cruising on. That's um, Batman action figures. Yeah, thank you. I know what it is. I just don't know exactly what it is. How much is it? So it's 40 bucks. But is it wow. worth 200? You know what I mean? Is it worth 200? No comps on it. No comps. I don't know how they came up with 40. It's the mic and it's also got the adapter thing there. There's no game in it. So it's just mics and a manual. Mm -hmm. Probably go like 25, 30, but I don't think we'll bother. Couple of other pretty cool finds here as well. These Jordans were nice, but at $30, it was just a little bit too steep. You'd probably only get about 60 on that, so not enough margin. Um, this NAB AFL Oz kick looked pretty cool, size medium. It was in like new condition as well, and a pretty reasonable price tag. Couldn't believe it was just a three, but I'm not doing my clothing so much. I am doing the action figures, as we've touched on earlier in this video, and these action men, were vintage. They were 1990s, which I thought might have been good. However, the price points in these op shops were anywhere between six to ten dollars uh, for this Action Man set. So, unfortunately, after doing quite a bit of research, I ended up leaving them behind. There just wasn't going to be enough margin in it. So we've got hats here for two dollars, and we just came across a couple here that I like the look of. This one here, it's an embroidered the block. Uh, which is a really cool TV show here in Australia. Um, Bisley Workwear on the back as well. Looks pretty much brand new and it's just $2 and there's two of them here. There's no comps on eBay, but I reckon this thing could go for like 25, 30 pretty easily. And then this one as well, I kind of like the look of too. It's a old course St. Andrews um, golf hat. So yeah, haven't seen it before. No real comps on eBay for it, but still these sorts of things for $2, you can easily get like 50, 60, 70 bucks for all of this. Harry Potter? Well, they're only a dollar. Oh, see, why is that two dollars? Chamber of Secrets. How many Harry Potters are there? Seven? Oh, this is actually, so Courtney is terrible on movies. You pretty much never watched a movie in your life. <laughs> or TV shows. Or TV shows. Harry Potter. Harry Potter, how many movies? A lot of hate in the comments. We apologize. Eight films. Eight. Yeah. Okay. So, looks like we might have all of them on Blu-ray. Two, four, six, eight. Oh my goodness. What does that search up for on eBay? Curry. Have just come across these, which are awesome. We said that was about 30. Chicago Bulls, the 90s. Absolute classics. Jordan. Bird. That's sweet. And then this one as well, Schwarzenegger, the running man. $2 into 15 That's Would you wear that? Yeah. Kind of cute with a t-shirt. How much is it? $8. You should do it. $20. Oh. Jeez, it's heavy. <laughs> Struggle. 50 bucks. It's so crazy to think that's 50 bucks. Yeah. Like this here alone. This. That is worth $50. And that is also going to be the giveaway for this video. All you need to do, guys, to enter, very simple. Use the code word GOLDRUSH in the comments. You need to like the video and just be subscribed to the channel. We're trying to get to 20,000 subs. And this little giveaway will be one step closer to helping us get there. So thank you very much for all of your support. Uh, hopefully, you could be the lucky winner of that DVD, which is an absolute banger if you could be finding it for as cheap as we did in the thrift today. I'm gonna to leave you with a video right here, which is another thrift haul, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you're watching John. Thrift stores are a great opportunity to make money. You've just seen it there in this video today. We'll see you in the next one.